WGEM Sports with Sports Director Tony Cornish Jr. The Panther faithful in Monroe City are still counting down the hours and the minutes until the black and gold, of course, hit the hardwood in Springfield on Friday evening. MCHS head coach Brock Idris will have the Panthers ready to go as the squad stands just two, yes, two wins away from a state title. Yeah, folks, it's that time of year as Monroe City prepares for their first final four games since 1995 this Friday against 27 and 4 Charleston. As you look at the experience factor between the two teams, there's certainly a difference. The Blue Jays have been to the state tournament each of the last two years and finished as runner up back in 2018, while the Panthers have nobody on the roster currently who has e was even born during the program's most recent run, of course, and dole out heavy minutes to young sophomores this year. Now, despite that gap, Monroe City feels they'll be well prepared in all areas to when they hit that big stage in Springfield in less than 72 hours. I think that like they've got the experience throughout the regular season, like they know what they're supposed to do. Everybody knows their role, so we just do that. Well, really, we all just come together and uh, do things together to keep us down, keep us calm and try to focus on just the game. Team chemistry certainly means a lot this time of year. Now